Oh hey, welcome back to the tutorials. I'm your host. Okay, previously on the tutorials we we did these things. If you if you're looking at this screen right now and you're like, how the fuck did those get onto that screen? You gotta see the previous tutorials to understand. Okay, so today's tutorial is about green screen technologies. And so as you can see, I put these on a green screen already. So now we're going to learn how to uh, superly impose some background images onto the artworks seamlessly. Now maybe you are asking, what is a green screen? Well, that's a picture of you. You better wipe your pretty fucking mouth. Well don't worry your pretty little head, I will show you an example of a movie that uses all the green screens and then you will understand when you see the exact So I just gotta head over to my DVD corner and find the best green screen movie. Uh, you can see that I stack my DVDs like so because it makes it very convenient to find what movie you're looking for. Like, uh, I think I wanted to pick this movie Rocky IV because that has all the green screens. So I just gotta uh, slide it out of the pile like so. Okay, so this is a scene from this movie, and uh, in real life, it is illegal to shoot it films in boxing arenas, so everything in the background is all green screen. Yeah, uh, what's his name, Stallone? He's never even set foot in a real boxing ring in his life. I mean, just, uh, just listen to yourself, to his commentary. Oh, uh, hey, it's me, Sylvester Stallone. I use all the green screens. Yeah. I'm just kidding, that wasn't Stallone, that was just uh, me doing a voice. Whatever. This, uh, this popcorn's pretty good. Okay, now that you understand, exactly what green screens are and what they do you don't need this question mark anymore and you don't need you can like change turn that frown upside down okay our next order of business is to give some backgrounds to these characters first up I want I think Santa Claus wants to sit down so I'm gonna give him a background of a chair for him to rest his tired feet because he's been delivering presents, whatever. So we just gotta go over to our favorite chair, uh, make it look nice and presentable for Santa Claus. He don't like a fucking mess. So uh, yeah, I think he'll enjoy sitting on that chair. So now just get a nice shot with your trusty camera phone. That, that one kinda sucked, so I'll do it again. Okay, make sure you do it in landscape mode, cause if you do it in portrait, then you're fucked. If you have seen my previous tutorials, then you probably think oh, I'm going to scan in this image to, into my scanner machine, which is what I would normally do, but unfortunately, my scanner stopped working, so I had to put it down. Now all I have is the memories. So does this mean that without a scanner, that my photo will be trapped inside my phone camera forever? That's, that's what you're asking. You open that mouth again because you're asking the question. Well, don't worry, because there is still another way to retrieve the photograph. Well, uh, that didn't work yet. Maybe I have to hit it a few more times. Um, I missed the first few hits because I forgot to press record on my camera. I'm just trying to dig into the screen so I can just pull the photograph out manually. Okay, that looks like it worked. I really got into the phone, into the photo storage system now. Yeah, you just gotta, like, scrape all this bullshit out of the way anyways you, you get the fucking point so now we go back to our uh, green screen 
And we want to make sure we leave lots of green around Santa Claus, because it's good. You can never have too much green. So now, you basically just slide the chair onto the green screen, and uh, there you go, Santa Claus is real comfy now, aren't you, Santa Claus? I did it all for you. I did it all for you, Santa Claus!